Hey everybody, I'm Para Plichinich and I have an InDesign tip for you. So sometimes you might be working on a spread like this. We've got a bunch of beautiful, colorful images and maybe you wonder what would this look like if those photos were all suddenly black and white? And maybe for whatever reason you can't or don't want to bop over into Photoshop to make that happen, here is an alternative. I just have a black colored fill frame right here. So it's just a frame with a black fill. And if I place it directly on top of the images and I come over to my effects panel and change the blend mode from normal to color, I get black and white photos just like that. But maybe I like the black and white, but I also want to see what would it look like with a bit of a color effect. So here I have another fill and I'll just place it right on top and again, change the blend mode to color. And because I think that might be a little intense for my taste, I'm gonna come up to the opacity slider and dial that down. And just like that, we've got a spread that looks great. But solid color fill frames are not where it ends. Down here, I have another fill frame. This time I filled it with a gradient. You can edit your gradient from the gradient panel and the color panel by clicking on these stops and then you can change the corresponding color. So I've got this set up just like this and if I take this gradient and drag it in place here and change the blend mode again to color but you know you really should just experiment, we get this cool effect. And if I want to dial that down a little bit, same thing, I can just drop down the opacity in my effects panel. And just like that, we get a photo filter effect in InDesign. But you can even take advantage of this for design purposes, even when there's no photos involved. So here I'm gonna grab these two color blocks and change their blend mode to difference, and this one to overlay. And if we zoom in on this, we can see that we're getting some really cool interplay between the different colored blocks and the type itself. And depending on the stacking order and the blend modes, um, you just never know how, the, how they're gonna play together. So make sure that you try experimenting with blend modes and opacity. Well, I hope you liked this video. And if you want lots more tips like this, be sure to check out creativepro.com and subscribe to InDesign Magazine. Thanks for learning with us.